Hey, it's Craig. You may recognize me as Stutter and Craig from way back in the old internet days. Thank you so much for being here. If it's your first time, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button because I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around noon, sometimes, most of the time, maybe one. Just kind of depends on the day. Uh, today's a little bit later, but that's cool because you're probably not watching it when this video was first released. <laughs> uh, glad you guys are here. Hey, real quick, uh, a thank you to those who have supported me recently with the super thanks and the direct donations via PayPal down in the link in the description and uh, over on Twitch with that free Prime subs. Uh, all that stuff is massively huge. Not for me, but for my youth soccer team that I coach. I mentioned this a couple videos ago, uh, but I have a youth girls soccer team. Uh, several of my girls uh, are exceptional. They're all exceptional, but several of them can't uh, necessarily afford to uh, pay to be on the team because it costs a lot of money to play competitive soccer with traveling and uniforms and all that stuff and league fees and all sorts of things. Uh, so I wanna help subsidize those costs. So pretty much uh, I, I will take every donation that you guys receive, whether it's super thanks or whatever, uh, and it'll go towards my youth girls soccer team. I have nine and 10 year old girls. They work their, they work their tails off. Yeah, I'm so proud of them. Anyways, that's uh, one of the things I'm really, really proud about. So thank you guys very much. Uh, I would like to thank Backyard Tardis. Blakey, thank you very much. Fox Eye Valkyrie, T-Bird, thank you very much. Lauren, thank you for continuing your streak. Uh, Trisha, thank you so much for the massive donation via PayPal. And uh, Janice, thank you very much as well. Your support is greatly appreciated. And uh, not just by me, but by the girls that I will help uh, and give them more opportunity to. That is the, that is the goal. So uh, with that said, today we're gonna be doing an AMA, an Ask Me Anything. I put it on the community tab. Hey, uh, if you wanna ask a question, maybe you've never heard the answer to, or maybe you had a question or something, I will answer it. And today I'm gonna take three of those questions and fire them your way and answer them as best I possibly can. I took the ones that had the most thumbs up on them because several people apparently wanted to know the, know the answers too. So uh, let's just dive into those things. Uh, if there's anything else you would like to know, uh, please put it in the comments below and maybe I'll continue that uh, continue that with a uh, uh, another AMA in the future uh, there's I'm, there's I'm sure there's way more than three questions which there were um, some uh, I, I do want to point out I can't tell you about what I'm doing just yet I, I was hoping to tell you in April things got delayed a little bit uh, I wouldn't say delayed just things have continued to progress a little bit so uh, I'll be able to tell you when I can tell you and it should be sooner than later very soon, hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's get into this bad boy. Uh, what is your biggest personal failure and how did it change you? JSG12, JSCG12. Uh, this, you know, this is a good question. Personal failure and, and professional failure are, are two totally different things. Your question was about uh, personal failure. I, I think for me, uh, personal failures have to do with, um, I, I like to think I'm a pretty open-minded guy, right? Uh, but I like to think that I, I picked up bad habits over the years. And I think um, there are bad habits that everybody has. We have good habits and bad habits. For me, I, I, I need to learn to be a little more patient. Um, uh, and I, I think that's a, that's a failure that most people have. Uh, they, they, people want to be right so bad that they, that they will do anything not to be wrong, if that makes sense. Uh, and I think that's just a, a learned lesson that, that you have to embrace and you have to uh, really take hold of. So uh, I, I think we're all constantly changing and evolving. If you're the same person you were five years ago, um, well, if you're not, you've changed, you have different life lessons. If you're the same person you were 20 years ago, you know, that's why I can look back and laugh at some of the things I said 15 years ago and be like, well, that's dumb, you know, because that was dumb. And uh, which is also part of the reason why I think what we're seeing today with, with cancel culture. This person said this 25 years ago. This person said this in 1978. This person said this in 2003 or last year. People change and it, it, it's okay that people change and I, I hope that people change. So, um, and that's something that I'm, that I'm working to improve on is uh, my ability to listen. And I think, that's, I think that's a pretty big failure if you're asking me. Um, uh, if, are you, if you're asking about specific moments in my life, um, I, I don't know. I don't really have a specific moment where I'm like, damn, that's, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. There was a, a little, one, one moment that really stuck with me you know, these moments that, that stick with you from your youth. I was a kid and uh, for my birthday, my kids got me a, got me a, a bicycle. And I, I didn't ask for a bicycle, but a bicycle is a really freaking amazing gift. And I was a little pissant and I was like, oh, bicycle, I don't want a bike, you know? And that, you know, you say these things and you do these things as a kid and you realize that's not how you're supposed to act. That's not right. And I've always kind of held my head in shame. And that, I think that really put perspective 
on how you should act and and the how to be appropriate and uh, and be thankful for the things that you are given because there's a lot of kids out there that never had bikes that never had an opportunity to have a bike and uh, I think that was it wasn't anything that my parents said or did it was more my own disappointment in myself so I think that's a pretty big disappointment and failure <laughs> uh, let's go to question number two what happened between you and handsome Tom if you've already done a video on this please let me know so I can go watch it please Yes, I've talked about this countless times, uh, and I actually did an entire podcast about it after it happened, uh, which probably can't be found online, which is probably why you're asking. But I think there are ar archives of it, the, of the uh, podcast I did on Side Scrollers way back in 2007, when it, or 2008 when it happened. Just the long, and and I, I think for a lot of people at the time with the old Craig-Tom split, they didn't understand because... Well, they were, you know, a lot of people were younger and uh, the internet wasn't quite where it's at right now. Like, here, here's the bones of it, right? Tom thought of screw attack as one thing, I thought of it as another. Uh, and, and we just disagreed on that. And ultimately, um, we decided to go our separate ways. You know, he decided to go uh, separate ways in a different fashion than I thought he was gonna go. And, and there was miscommunication there. Um, Look, it's been a long time, and things like this has happened a million times online. Pe you know, the one thing about when you have a public-facing company where the two people that are that are at the company have a disagreement, naturally things people will pick sides. And this was 15 years ago, and I still have people go, "Oh man, you backstabbed uh, handsome Tom." There was no backstabbing as associated with it at all. I, I had a lot of people uh, advise me, and look, at the end of the, I need, want to be really clear. I take full responsibility for everything that happened. I'm the one who did it, right? There was pettiness attached on all sides. Uh, people were jerks to each other on all sides, and I grew from that. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I, I had lunch with Tom. I don't, I don't even know five, six years ago now, and um, I have. I don't know. I don't know who Tom is right now. Tom has no idea who I am, right? We have literally entirely separate lives than we did you know, 14, 15 years ago. He has an entire family. I have an entire family. They've never met each other. Um, so at the end of the day, it was just two people disagreed with the way things were, thing, th things went. Um, had it continued the way it had gone, I would not be here talking to you right now. Uh, our, nothing would have ever, screw attack wouldn't have, had, wouldn't have lasted another six months, right? Uh, it, was, it was gonna blow up and we wouldn't have had the many, many years of fun that we did. Um, I. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I wish Tom nothing but the best. I hope he's having an excellent life. And I hope that, uh, you know, people who decided to go, oh, Team Tom or Team Craig, it's all just a bunch of mishmash of something that happened a long time ago. Um, and I, I think that, um, but had it, had it not happened, Screw Attack wouldn't have been what it was. I wouldn't be the person I am today. Tom wouldn't be the person he is today. We're all just, amalga We're all just an amalgamation of life experience. So, so that was, uh, one of the life experiences uh, in, in my life, which I hear about all the time. <laughs> Next one. Uh, I, did I start with this? Do I regret anything? <laughs> uh, no, I don't regret anything. Um, outside of my, my biggest regret when it comes to screw attack. No, I don't regret, but I do. Uh, I regret buying the game store. Um, in business, in business in particular, I, I'm a big believer that you should uh, work off logic and not off emotion. And the game store was um, was an emotional, I just wanted to own a game store. So we bought the game store and uh, it, was, it wasn't a giant transaction. I essentially bought the inventory for the guy and took over the lease. And, uh, but I think about like the butterfly effect of of what happened, like because I bought the game store. Now the game store it like broke even, right? It was it was fine. It was it was never a money maker by any means, but it didn't lose money. It was just kind of a you know it was just a thing that we did that was pretty cool. And we eventually uh, closed the game store and moved from our old office into the game store and repurposed the game store into our office, which a lot of people didn't know. Uh, but you think about the butterfly effect of of me buying that game store. Uh, because I bought the game store. I hired Jared to come down and run the game store. Jared then became a part of the crew. Then, uh, and then obviously he went on to do his own thing. And you think about uh, those like little decisions that were made, uh, well, big decisions that were made 
uh, that ultimately impacted a lot of people's lives, which is pretty cool. So, um, so there you go. The questions today. Do you regret anything? What happened to between you and Tom? And what is your uh, biggest personal failure and how did you, how did it change you? So there you go. Those are the three questions. Um, I know there's lots of questions about my life, my, my professional life, uh, screw attack, uh, game attack, uh, what I'm doing now, what I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, please ask them down below and I would love to do another AMA in the future. Prefer, pretty short one today, but uh, you know, I don't think Q and A's and AMA should be uh, very long. I wanna get you right to the point and, uh, and be as transparent as possible. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Of course, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. Comments seem to be the big driver for viewership on the channel and then uh, letting people know because uh, you're engaging on the, with the video, which is something that YouTube is uh, very keen on. You guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And I appreciate you being here. Appreciate your support and those super thanks and those donations. And my soccer team does as well. You guys have a great day. Remember, people are going to try to keep you down. Don't let them. You guys got a goal. Go get it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.